Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I am back on their video. And today I'm going to give you guys my review for Transformers Bot Bots. The first season has, uh, is coming out on Netflix and I got a chance to see it a little bit early and I'm going to give you guys my non spoiler review. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchase some merch on my Spring Store today. Okay, so for those of you who are not familiar with what BotBots are, uh, BotBots is, like many other Transformers series, based on a toy line uh, that actually started in 2018, I believe, and they came out with like a bunch of these little like action figures. Much like, I mean, back in the 80s, we had MicroMasters, and MicroMasters were pretty much micro-machines that transformed into robots, so they're the only micros that transform. Well, BotBots, I think the toy line was kind of like trying to compete with Shopkins, that's what my wife said. So she's like, like I think that's what they what they are. But they're like everyday objects that transform into little robots. They're kind of cute. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, folks have you know picked them up. It wasn't really something I was going out of my way to, to collect, and it's really not something I my I myself am probably going to collect because I'm more of a you know Generations uh, War for Cybertron and that that scale of a you know action figure kind of guy. But you know, if my kids see it, they may may enjoy it. And um, you know, as far as the toys are concerned. Um, but the toy line came out and there was no cartoon to accompany it. And we had heard that they were working on a cartoon and it took a while. And I, I don't know if the pandemic played a big part in it or what have you. Uh, maybe it was like dealings with Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or Netflix or whatever that delayed this cartoon to come out, you know, now here in 2022, when the toy line has been out for like four years. And they're just now uh, putting up pre-orders for uh, series six of toys, and some of them are some of the figures that you're you know you're going to see in the show. So, and and the cartoon itself even has like ones from Wave One. Like I took a look, you know what figures are out there, like from Wave One, and you know, but they're still going to be coming out with more Botbots. Uh, you know toys so the cartoon airs on netflix and the way that it's it's aired it's 25 minutes per episode but it's really not one episode it's actually two episodes in a 25 minute block so what they've done is is pretty much the same cyberverse and rescue bots academy you know format and what it is is an energon storm comes and it brings all the transformers to life that's what they say right in the intro they mention it in the show and then they're all doing mischief and they're trying to not be seen by the mall security guard who is the only human in the show uh the other humans i think that if they exist they happen during the day because it's all during when the mall is closed at night so overnights the bot bots come out they transform and they all have their squad so like if you were if you were in a uh, sporting goods store all the sporting goods equipment becomes a squad of transformers uh, of bot bots then you have another squad that's like the janitorial squad some from the fast food uh area you know so you have french fries a burger a, you know a juice box and then of course you now the lost bots are a subgroup of like they came they were like from the lost and found and they were placed in the lost and found and so a flashlight that's supposed to be with with a, with a hardware store a soccer ball is supposed to be with a, with a sporting goods store and you know all of these different like you know bots are made to be lost bots because they end up being coming their own squad in that way and the main character is named burgertron and he is <laughs> he kind of a screw up but if you look at his helmet design he looks like like the helmet design kind of reminds me of optimus prime and then the french fry guy reminds me of megatron just the way that the robot is designed uh my wife didn't agree with me as far as the megatron design but like that's what it looked like to me it was like the first thing i thought of i was like okay well with the lines on his chest and just just the design so storyline is is that like burgatron ends up getting booted from the you know um from the hunger bot squad i think they're called and he ends up being part of the lost bots and it's the whole premise of the show is he wants to get back with he wants all of them to get within their own you know groups 
not realizing they've become a group of their own. And that's the basic premise is there's there's a lot more story that happens as the show continues. And it's actually very enjoyable um, for myself. I, again, I'm, I'm 40 years old. Yes, I have two kids. And so for me, it's not like something that I'm going to go rush out and go see. But is it bad? Is it is it terrible? No, it's actually quite fun. It's actually a very fun cartoon. I think the first two episodes kind of try really hard to give you like to, to, to try to play up the humor. But the humor becomes more natural as the show progresses because you start to get to know who the characters are and you're like, all right, now I can kind of laugh at some of their jokes and some of the things that they're saying. But it wasn't like straight up belly laughs. It was kind of like zany cartoon antics. And I watched the first 10 episodes because I, you know, by myself before I even let my family watch it because I'm a responsible adult. I would rather, you know, know what my kids are watching before it's like, you know, somewhere where I think I have to explain to them, like, okay, that's not necessarily right. Um, and I, I didn't find anything that was like, you know, that, that was objectionable. It was really geared towards kids and it's a good show. And it, and I actually had my kids watch the first two episodes. They enjoyed it. Um, they liked Burgertron. Um, you know, my son was just sitting on my lap through that the whole time, eyes glued to the TV, which is unusual for him. You know, my son is three years old and he runs around the house like a, like a, uh, like a ping pong ball. So attention spans are, are, are a good thing. And that's probably where like the show really captured him. Other than that, the show itself is, it's enjoyable. It's fun. I think you'll have a good time. And, and here are the other thing. It's not connected really to any train like this. It has it, it mentioned Energon and there's something in the closing shot of the show that can maybe make this show fit in one particular universe, but it's not connected to the battles of the Autobots and Decepticons. It doesn't even mention Cybertron. So it's just that the robots themselves exist and they transform. There's no there's no other connection. And that's fine. You don't have to have the connection to the Autobots and Decepticons to enjoy the show. You can let anybody really watch it. And that's really the bottom line. But again, you may not like the show. That's fine. It's really geared towards a younger demographic, which is exactly what it's meant for. But I wonder what you guys think. Have you seen Transformers Bot Bots yet? Or are you not going to watch it? Uh, and or, or are you excited about it? You know, that's that's the beauty of, of so many different Transformers series out there is that you can watch pretty much anything. And I want to know what you guys think. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. I have many more Transformers discussions, retrospectives, and way more videos coming down the pipeline on this channel. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.